delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I have amazing red and black quinoa flatbreads. They are delicious and super easy to make. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix half a cup of quinoa and half a cup of water and we're going to let them stand for about five minutes. What we're doing here is that we're opening up the quinoa before it hits the heat because they're dry and they need just some stretching out. Okay, so now you see they plump up a little bit and you put them in a pan. We add a half a teaspoon of coconut oil to each. To that quinoa, we added another half a cup of water. Bring the water to a boil and cover them. Reduce the heat to low and cook them for 10 to 15 minutes or until they're dry. The size of the pan is going to vary a little bit on the time of cooking, not a lot. Don't open them up all the time, otherwise they won't plump up. Just open them a little bit after the 10 minutes have passed and if there's still water, cover them and leave them there for a couple of minutes. It's the amount of quinoa and the size of the pan that's going to determine this. So, actually you can do it 10 minutes, turn them off, leave them there, come back half an hour later, one hour later, and they're perfect. Nothing happens to them. So take your quinoa, one at a time, or mixed, however you want. You see in the first picture I have some that are black and white. We add three tablespoons of corn flour or masa harina, process it for about two minutes or until it becomes sticky. That means that all of the pieces have broken down and they're going to glue themselves one to the other. Check it out. Take an ice cream scoop and I'm using a four tablespoon ice cream scoop and making little balls. Each one of these balls is going to be a flatbread or a tortilla or an arepa. They come out crispy or soft however you want. What I'm doing now is that I'm putting a piece of wet paper towel over them so that while I prepare other things, they don't dry out. That way, they will perfectly stretch as I press them in the crepe or tortilla press. We put the red quinoa that's also cooked. See how beautiful and open each one of those quinoa are. When I put them in water the five minutes at the beginning, if you see that they don't plump up at all, that means it's too old and they're not going to cook very well. So discard them and start all over. Quinoa gets old and it just dries out too much. Look at this. This is it. No more ingredients. Process it and you're ready to go. If you cannot eat corn, you can use yuca flour or tapioca flour. It works perfectly. Same thing. Look at this. Two minutes later, once it's sticky, you're ready to go. That means that quinoa has processed enough to absorb some of the corn. Here we go. Same thing. Making our little scoops of quinoa and ready to put them on a tortilla press. This is an electric tortilla press or a crib machine, but you can actually do them in a regular tortilla press between two plastic bags. You can keep them between sheets or little pieces of baking paper or butter paper, which doesn't have a nonstick surface, but remember to peel them off fast and keep them then in plastic so that you can peel them once they freeze. The best thing to do is to press them under two plastic bags or under two pieces of plastic wrap. You can then freeze them like you see that lined baking sheet in your freezer and once they're frozen then you can pack it. I put them on a rack first so that they cool down a little bit before I put the next one on top because we want them to be dry and not get so humid from the hot one being placed on the other one. You can make them like this, they're not completely toasted, or you can make them really crispy. All it depends is how long you leave them in the heat. You can do this in the oven if you press them in a manual tortilla press, 
you can use this in a pan also if you press them in a manual tortilla press or you can actually press them in a pan directly if you have a smaller pot and you just put a lot of weight on it also you can make them flat this is all we're doing flattening them but here we're flattening them and cooking them at the same time so check this out it's perfect beautiful delicious they go with anything, any food you want. You can put some garbanzo, some hummus, you can add some yogurt, you can add fruit, you can add savory food, you can add anything to them and they're beautiful. You can use them as snacks and you can use them as part of your meal. Anything will work. They are amazing and delicious. Remember, it's Chef Pachi. Delicious food, amazing meat.